Oh, what's going on, Devil Squad? Welcome back to another video. My name is NVXCCZ, and in this video here, I am going to be building a shout out area for Devil Squad Survival. Now, please don't leave it in the comments. I'm copying Stampy, um, the YouTuber Copycat789. He has a shout out area, and he gets told all the time he's copying Stampy for it. Which I think is really unfair, like, just because he has a shout out area doesn't mean you guys should be call calling him a copy of Stampy. Like, that's horrible to say about someone. But then when it came to Kira, none of you cared. And he had a shout out area as well. And I understand Copycat had a garden, but did he name it Copycat's Love Garden? No. So he wasn't exactly copying Stampy, and his garden was completely different to Stampy's. So the fact you guys called him a, um, Stampy Copycat, that was really, um, that was really not nice. Um, I've done some more progress outside of videos, by the way. Over here, you can see, I've now got Charles the Horse's hut. Uh, this is where my new horse, Charles, lives. I'm going to be um, upgrading his house a little bit. I'm going to add some more hay bales and that around. This is his water he drinks. Uh, his food's in here, some carrots, apples, sugar, and wheat. Some hay bales for him. I'll try and add some more stuff into that outside of video. I uh, showed you guys the animal pen, I think. Over here, um, I had to dye all my sheep's red for this video. I went ahead and finished up, uh, up there. The wall is up there. And today we're going to be building our shout out area. Now you guys know, my world is called Devil Squad Survival, so I wanted to theme this around Daredevil. My whole theme of my channel is themed around Daredevil, and... That's how I got the name Devil Squad Survival, so I want to theme this around Daredevil. So I'm going to be building Daredevil's head in this video, and we're going to add signs inside of it for, like, shout-outs. So let me just get my pictures up here. First thing we're going to need is some um, white terracotta. I'm going to build it around here, I think. So I'm going to get started into this. I didn't grab white wool, so, um... Is it possible for me... Actually, I can just dye a sheep and get some, can I? I only need two pieces of white. So it's not like I need it that... I don't need that much of it. But I need a couple of pieces. All my materials, by the way, I got out of survival mode. I know I've said before, like, I get a lot of materials I don't have access to in creative mode, which is true. If I don't have access to something, I will go ahead and get it out of creative mode. Um, everything I've been gathering up throughout the past few episodes you've been watching... Uh, this one and my last one, I've got all out of survival mode. All my wool and everything, I've got out of survival mode. My never brick, my clay, all of it's been out of survival mode. I haven't got anything out of creative in a while, since like episode one or two. Ever since episode three, it's been... Why am I sharing for red wool? Uh, bone meal. Ever since episode 3, it's been a full-on survival world where I haven't used creative mode for absolutely anything. So I'm rather happy with that. I normally don't have a world like this in survival mode, so I'm very happy with this world. Okay, so let's go work out uh, whereabouts I need to place this white wall. Alright, so on the 4th, right there. Oh dear. I didn't mean to place that there. Uh, let me get my pictures up. What? Alright guys, I'm sorry about that. Um, let's go back to what we were doing. Alright, so I said I was going to get my pictures up. And my brother just completely accused me of getting all my materials out of creative mode. Which I didn't. I promise you guys I got out of survival mode. I found some clay underwater and got it all from there. I can even show you whereabouts I got my clay from. Uh, some of the clay I got from a pond like this over on this side of the house. I've mm -hmm. since built over it with some uh, dirt. 
But all of my um, clay I have, or most of it, I have. And all of it came out of survival mode. None of the clay, none of the um, wall, none of the um, never brick is out of creative mode. It's all out of survival mode. And I'm just trying to find where I got my clay from. I got my clay, like, down here somewhere. If I'm correct, it should be. Yes. You see where I've been digging this entire area out here? This is where I got all my clay from. You can even see there's some left over here. This is all clay. So in case any of you didn't believe me and I and think I got clay out of creative mode, you are mistaken, just like my brother Luke. So yeah, please don't accuse me of using creative mode too much. I will use it occasionally if I need a material out of creative mode, what I don't have access to in survival mode. But for the most part, I'm going to be getting everything out of survival mode. No problems. And I did, I do have a behind the scenes episode where you can see me like do a bunch of stuff in survival mode. Like my entire horse hut was built in survival mode. I even have a video, but I don't plan to upload, but if you guys want to upload it, I will upload it. I have a video where I literally, I literally build it in that video in survival mode. All right, let's get back to what we were doing. So, um, I need to do, place some blocks all around this. And do I have dirt? I do. Let's do that, and then I need never brick. I don't know how much of this I actually need. But one, two, three, four. I hope I have enough. How many more blocks do I even need a never brick? Need one, two, three, four, five, six. I should have enough. There we go. I had enough never brick. Okay. So that's good. So this is um, the face coming along nicely. I know behind this I need to place two rows of uh, red wool. Should be a total of eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Good. There we go. I can destroy that dirt for now. Uh, up in those two spaces there, I need to use my red terracotta and place those in there. Um, I want to say thank you to um, TSMC Minecraft for the design of this. I basically copied off his tutorial uh, for the design. It was just the easiest way I knew how to build the face. Alright, uh, get my pictures back up because my messenger... I'm just going to quickly open the messenger because otherwise each time my um, phone turns off I'm going to have to turn it back on and then find the pictures again. Okay, so let's carry on here. Guys, okay, just counting something. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So we're going to fill this all in here and just connect it back up to over there. Destroy that. There we go. And then the sides in the back are just going to be an entire row of red wool, I believe. Yes. And they go one block higher than the um, never broke. So I'm just going to do this along the sides and the back. Now there's not, I'm going to have to flatten this area down. I couldn't really think of where to build this, like, I wanted to have it close to the house and this area just seemed to be the most flattest area I could build it in. I may move the location for it someday in the future, but I think because it's just a head what I'm going to be adding signs inside of, this is a pretty good location for it. Let's carry on building this all up. I didn't want to build like the entire statue of him and have all his body, arms, and legs and everything. I just wanted to have his face or his head that we can go inside of and add signs into. I don't have that many people to give shout outs to, or it uh, shouldn't be as many as like Stampy or someone has, or someone like Stampy has. So I'm. That's why I went with this design. It was nice, small, and it fits everyone I need. It should fit everyone I need to fit. 
Alright, we need some more red wool. I don't know if we're going to have enough red wool. I really hope we have enough. Please say we have enough red wool. Okay, I don't know if we're going to have enough red wool. I might need to go get some more. Because I didn't take into consideration how much I would need for, like, the, um, actual head. I just grabbed, like, three stacks of it and that was it. Yeah, I'm not going to have enough red wool for this. So that's not good. Um... What I might do then is add the actual head on in outside a video. Yeah, I kind of have no choice. Like, the red wall is going to go all down here. Yeah, I do not have enough. I definitely don't have any extra wall. Okay, I didn't take into consideration just how much wall I needed. Uh, let's just go see if I have any. How many sheep have regrown their wall back at the sheep pen? Okay, so let's just get, we're not going to have enough. I can already tell. Two, four, six, eight. Yeah, we're not going to have enough. I definitely don't have any in there. So then what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, finish it off outside the videos. I'm going to do whatever I can for the, we'll finish the face off. I'll finish the face off outside of videos and then do whatever I can um, inside of videos okay yeah so we're gonna I need I need a bunch more so I'll finish this off outside of video uh, for now let's just hop back down here and I am um, planned to um, have a double door back here and then like a little staircase just leading up into the build here and then just imagine like all the signs are along the walls like all up here or around here or on his face or around here I'm hoping I'll have enough space to build as much as possible Actually, I could probably... There's like one finishing detail I really want to do to the face, and that's at least add the horns on, because if you guys know anything about Daredevil, you know he has horns, and without the horns, it's just not Daredevil. There we go. So we've pretty much got his um, entire head done. We just need to add the actual red head, the um, rest of the red wall I'm missing, unless I do like a little skylight thing to like light in. This is um, basically the design for the shout out area. And that was a nice quick build. I didn't expect it to be that quick. So I'm probably going to end the video here because we are pretty much just finished. Like I really wanted to put that in video for some reason. But that's going to be where I add people to shout out. I know it's not in the best location and all my stuff just seems to be random where I build it but that's what I want the shower area to be I wanted to I wanted it to be themed around Daredevil and this was the first thing that popped into my mind when thinking of how could I theme it around Daredevil I know let's build a Daredevil head to add signs inside of so yeah thank you all for watching and I'll see you in the next one bye